Greetings folks, John Grace, President, Investors Advantage, and the Money Doctor is in. We've talked a bit about active management strategies, and for some people that's really difficult to understand. So we've got a great example here that goes back to 2007, and I must suggest to you that you go back and look at your portfolios from 2000 to 2002, again, 2007, 2008, and ask your advisors or yourselves the question, what could we learn? In other words, how could we have held up a little better? How might we have avoided as much of the downside participation as we went through? And if we can go back and learn from the past, it's possible that it might help us in the future. If we don't learn from the past, it's kind of like running down the road in your car and you hit a pothole and you run down it the next day and you hit the same pothole. Well, what did you learn? Nothing. So you did it again. Maybe the next time you won't be able to get the car out of the pothole. This would, this would not end well. So we want to stay in the game, whether it's uh, on the field or in our bank accounts or being able to retire with dignity. How might we be able to stay, stay the game? And a quote I came across from Warren Buffett says that the market will do whatever it has to to prove the maximum number of people wrong. The maximum number of people wrong. We looks like we're in a, uh, a wrestling match between the Bulls and the Bears right now. We're not sure who's going to win, but we suggest, in fact, there's another quote from Mr. Buffett that says that I'm not a buy and hold investor. I'm an active investor. And maybe you can't be an active investor, but the question is, can you hire an active manager that can invest your hard-earned assets so that you can keep them whole, all right? So let's look at a couple of examples, and first we want to talk about what we're calling the 80-80 rule. In other words, in a good market, we want 80% of the upside, but in a bad market, we want to avoid 80% of the downside. Might be a good goal. Something that you can go back to see, was that even possible 00 to 02, again, 07, 08? So we can see with this chart exactly what the market has done. And we're looking in this case at the Merrill Lynch U.S. High Yield Master II Index. This would apply both to bonds and stocks. 2008 was tough on bonds as well as stocks, as you may well remember. And what you can see as we move forward from 2007 through July 30th, 2014, the red identifies the buys. In other words, as little as 20% to as much as 100% were moved out of bonds and or stocks into cash. And then the green, which you can see on the bottom, shows the movement back on the market or in the market. So we t risk off, risk on, wax on, wax off. Take the money off the table in a bad year, back on the table in a good year, and it minimizes the losses. That's the idea, as opposed to buy and hold or hold and hope and, you know, geez, hope is not a strategy. So if we take it one step further and say that uh, when we look at the impact of losses, let's see how one bad year really makes a difference. So we look at a starting value of a million dollars in year one, we're off 35%, followed by a gain of 25%, followed by a gain of 15%, leaving the account value at about $933,000. In portfolio B, we're starting with the same $1 million, but in the first year, we're not off 35%, we're only off two. What do you need to get back to even from being down 2%? Is it just two or 3%? I think so, we're good, we're in the game. And then we see the same gain of 25% in year two, and then we don't do as well in year three. We don't get 15%, we only get 9%. But because we minimize the losses, that's the key here, we end the value at the year end of $1,333,000. We would suggest that that is an improvement. So look to see where you can apply active manage, management strategies, no matter what investment you're in, that can literally take the money off the table in a, in a bad year and put the money back on the table in a good year. And with that, I'm John Grace, and the Money Doctor is out. <music>